In this lesson, you will learn how to add and configure a printer in Fiery Command Workstation. You must add a printer before you can import jobs. Your license will determine which printers are available for selection in the software. To add a printer, in Command Workstation, click Add Printer. The new printer dialog box opens. Select your printer's manufacturer from the drop-down list. In this example, I'll select EFI ViewTech from the drop-down menu. In the Printer Type drop-down list, select your specific printer type. I'll select the EFI ViewTech LX3 Pro printer for this example. By default, Command Workstation displays the printer name, but if you would like, you can enter a more descriptive name for your printer in the Name field, along with additional optional information in the Description field. For example, you could enter the printer location or the default type of media inserted in the printer. I'll enter the name ViewTech LX3 Pro North, indicating the location of this printer in my facility. When finished, click Next. In the next window, you will enter the connectivity information for your printer. In your system interface, you will have a single printer entry for each physical printer in your print shop. Each printer will need to have its own unique IP address or export path. For most printers, you will enter the IP address for the printer. IP connectivity is the preferred connection method for all newer EFI printers. The default port for any selected printer should not be changed unless your system's administrator instructs you to use an alternate port. On older EFI printers, you may need to select the File Output option to create an RTL file. You can select a folder where you want the output files to be created and also configure the file name. The default format will create a name that contains the job order, job name, a job ID, a tile number if available, a page number if available, and the date. You can define a custom naming format that may also contain custom text or any other variables that are displayed by clicking on the information icon next to the naming drop-down menu. For more information on setting up a bi-directional communication for EFI ViewTech, EFI Matan, EFI Reggiani and EFI Wide Format Printers, see the Knowledge Base article on help.efi.com. If you are connecting your Fiery server to an EFI Reggiani printer, the export path that you select will be the shared folder on your Reggiani printer that contains the jobs underscore to underscore prepare and print underscore parameters subfolders. You will also need to enter the username and password that has been set up on the Reggiani printer for access to that shared folder. When connecting to most non-EFI printers, you will normally enter the IP address for the printer. Most printers support the RAW protocol and print to port 9100. The LPR protocol is normally reserved for Unix systems or print servers with multiple interfaces. In most cases, you can leave the box blank. Refer to your printer manual or ask your system administrator if you are unsure. In some situations, you could also print to a local printer that is connected to the computer that Fiery XF server is installed on through a USB port. Under Connection Type, you would select the Print via Port, and then under the Port drop-down menu, you would select the USB port. Returning to our selection of the LX3 Pro, entering the IP address, and click Finish, adds this printer to our system. The Server Manager window will automatically open, and you can now move on to configure your printer and system defaults. If you wish to add additional printers to your Fiery XF7 server, you can click on the plus sign on the right of the printer header bar, and repeat the above procedure. I'll add a second EFI ViewTech LX3 Pro, name it ViewTech LX3 Pro South using its unique IP address. This completes this module.